This is the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP Office Jet 4650 printer. This is the HP Office Jet 4650 printer. The first thing we're going to do is open the box. Inside the box you will find a bag containing the start here guide and other reference materials which we will come back to later. The black and tricolor number 63 cartridges. And the power cord which will connect shortly. Remove any packing materials on top of the printer. And now we'll take the printer out of the box. Set the box on its side. Firmly grasp the plastic bag the printer came in and pull the printer out of the box. Set the box aside and then remove the styrofoam end caps one at a time. Now we can slide the printer out of the plastic bag. Once the printer is removed, we need to remove all tape and packing materials from all sides of the printer. Start by removing the tape from around the top of the printer. Go to the back and remove the last piece of tape from the top. Now return to the front and lift the scanner lid. Remove the styrofoam sheet then close the scanner lid. Using the handles lift the top cover. Remove the piece of cardboard. Close the top cover and then set the cardboard aside for recycling. Now go to the front and remove the remaining piece of tape from the input tray. Slide out the input tray and remove the piece of tape. You can extend the paper width guides if you want. Push in the input tray. At this point, we want to power on the printer, so go to the back and grab the power cord. Remove the twist tie. Plug this end into the printer. Then plug the other end into a wall outlet. In this video, we are using a power strip, but HP recommends plugging directly into a wall outlet for best performance. Press the power button. At this point, the printer will start initializing. When prompted, select your language, then touch yes to confirm. Select your country or region, then touch yes again to confirm. Select the date, then touch next. Select the time, then touch done. Now we'll install the ink cartridges. Lift the top cover to access the carriage. Remove the tricolor cartridge from its package. If you have difficulty opening the package, you can use scissors to cut it open. Before installing the cartridge, you must remove the protective tape. Use the orange pull tab to remove the tape from the contacts and nozzles. Hold the cartridge by its sides, then lift the tricolor lid. 
Set the cartridge in the left slot, then close the lid. Now open the black cartridge from its package. Just as before, remove the protective tape, lift the black lid, and set the cartridge in the right slot. Close the lid, then close the top cover. Press OK on the control panel. When prompted to load paper, open the paper input tray. Tap a stack of plain white paper on a flat surface and load it into the input tray. Adjust the paper width guides, then slide in the input tray. Touch yes, then touch done on the control panel. The printer will now calibrate and print an alignment page. The alignment page allows the printer to know where the ink placement will be on future prints. To complete the alignment, you must scan the printed page. Lift the scanner lid, then place the page print side down in the lower right corner of the scanner glass. You can also use the markings on the printer as a guide. Close the scanner lid, then touch OK to scan the page. Once the alignment is complete, either an alignment successful or an alignment failed message will display. If you receive an alignment failed message after the scan, you can go to hp.com to resolve the problem. If you receive an alignment successful message, touch OK. Touch Finish. While there are many different methods to connect your printer to your computer, in this video we are going to manually connect the printer to a wireless network. On your printer's control panel, touch the wireless icon. Then touch the settings icon. Then touch wireless setup wizard. The printer will then search for all wireless routers within range of the printer. Select your network from the list. Then touch OK and enter the network password if required. The control panel has multiple letters per box, so touch each box until your letter displays. If your password has two of the same letter in a row, pause after the first letter, then enter a second. Once you've input your password, touch Done. Then touch OK to confirm your settings. The printer will validate your wireless settings and connect to the network. When the connection successful screen displays, touch OK. Now the printer hardware setup is complete and it's connected to the wireless network. Now let's install the software. Grab the bag of materials that we set aside earlier. Inside the bag, you'll find an RJ11 phone cord for setting up your printer as a fax machine. You will also find the Start Here guide, which has the step-by-step -step instructions for what we are showing in this video. An instant ink card for setting up a subscription service for ink replacement. You'll also find the printer's user manual. And lastly, the installation CD for both Windows and Mac. If you misplace this disk, you can download the software and drivers at 123.hp.com forward slash OJ4650. Remove the disk from the sleeve and load it into your computer. If the installer does not automatically run, Click the prompt to open the disk options. Click run to open the installer. If a user account control window opens, click yes. You have the option to go online and complete the software installation, but in this video we are going to use the provided disk. Click no thanks. Once the installer opens, click continue. 
This screen shows software that is going to be installed. You can click the Customize Software Selections button to choose what software you install. Click Next. Check the box to agree the terms. Click Next. The software and drivers will now install. For the purposes of this video, we sped up this process. At the Connection Options screen, you can either choose Wireless, USB, or to connect your printer later. Since we set up the printer on the wireless network, we're going to choose the wireless option. Click Next. The installer will scan the wireless network for your printer. And once it finds your printer, you can choose it from the list. Once selected, click Next. The installer will then connect the wireless printer to your computer. Follow any on-screen prompts that might appear. If you are not connected to the internet, you might receive an error message. This does not affect your printer's installation. This was the unboxing, setup, and installation of the HP OfficeJet 4650 printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash hp printer support.